Welcome to Meaningful Moments. In 2001, my parents had moved to a new home. I was in university, and so I chose to stay in my parents' basement. It's darker, more activities and room for tamas. <laughs> then Sheila and I were married in 2010, and we continued to live in the basement. And Vyasa was born in 2617. We continued to live in the basement. But when Sheila and I were pregnant with Shuka, there was not enough space in the basement for this to be healthy. So we had bought the home that we're in right now. Many of you have visited. Now we're looking into getting a new home, not because we need more space, but rather. We want to be closer to my parents who live in Niagara Falls. Should they need support today, and in the future, they're definitely going to need support as their bodies age. Now, I share all of this to emphasize we have been changing our spaces proactively before Shuka was born, before my parents need me. When one is acting in a proactive way, it makes it easier on everyone around. Making other people's lives easier is being kinder, being selflesser. So I'm beginning meaningful mornings today, encouraging everyone, challenging everyone. Are you living in a proactive way? Are you making everyone's life around you easier today and in the future? I hope so, because that's what the training of Meaningful Mornings is. But this is not a scholarly matter. This is where you're feeling the same presence in all beings, and so you live for them. When I was growing up, I ate meat because my father did, so myself and my sisters, we all did. Eventually, my father became a vegetarian, so my sisters and I became a vegetarian too. They facilitated our food, my parents. Since being independent physically of my parents, I have tried and faltered and tried and faltered being a vegan. Like one aspect is we don't bring dairy milk into our home for Sheila and I. I eat a fraction of the cheese I used to, etc. Recently, there was ice cream in someone's home. It was called Blue Cosmo. Sounds good, right? You wish you had some Blue Cosmo ice cream right now. And when I opened the box, I saw a whiteness. I guessed that they were marshmallows. And at this point, it was already in my bowl, and so I asked someone to check if there's gelatin in this. And there was gelatin, gelatin made from fish. Who knows how that happens or why that happens, but this was the case. And I was so intellectually fatigued, and the, food, the ice cream was already in my bowl, so I was like, I'm just going to eat it. It's going to go in the garbage anyways. But I should have just thrown it in the garbage. 
as I was eating that ice cream, I felt so gross. I felt like it was making the other ice cream that I was eating gross too. Now the reason I'm sharing this, chapter 18 is about commitment. The opposite of commitment is compromise. I am a uncommitted vegan, which is why I compromise. And I do not say that with any source of pride. I, I wish I had the willpower to be a committed vegan. There is no compromise. For anyone who doesn't want to be born into a conditional joy, Compromise means rebirth into conditions. Shri Krishna is providing a system on how to go from most compromised to least compromised, and that momentum that you will feel within yourself will carry you to no compromise. You will be described as Achuta. Achuta means the one who never falls. Shri Krishna has shared these systems in such a lifestyle way. Our renunciation should be of separation. That is a pair of systems. Our vision should manifest into our action. That was another pair of systems. And we've now completed our intuition should flow, should evolve to determination. Part of your application was to chart out all of these systems. I hope you are. One of the points of advice I share with high school students and university students is to buy a dry erase calendar, a big one they can use their whole life, and in the first week when they get their syllabus, this is when the exams are, the assignments are due, etc., to write all of that out, chart it out. And then every day, invest one minute looking at this chart, this calendar, so that those dates are clear in your mind and you don't react. One is proactive towards their responsibilities. This chapter is, I don't want to call it the syllabus because we did that in chapter two. But these systems are reminders of how not to compromise. We continue into our next system. Today we'll just flow through it. Tomorrow I'll share how this fits into the bigger picture. Sukham tvidanim trividam shunu me bharatar shabha Abhyasat Ramate Yatra Dukantam Cha Nigachati Joy. This system is on joy. I have not forgotten to highlight for all of you the four critical verses of chapter 18. I have not forgotten that. This is one of the, not of the four, not of the four, but one of the important verses in this chapter. Sukham, please define to me what Sukham means. Lots of people call Shuka, Sukha. <laughs> Sukha, <laughs> pleasure, yes, good space. Kam means space, like this is a Kam right now. And Su, it defines this space as being good. Good space. Tu idanim trividam. Indeed, space, good space, can be known in three ways. Lower, medium, high in terms of impact. A reflection from this first quarter. What Sri Krishna is teaching right now is still conditional. This sukha is in reference to the gunas, yes? 
Gunas means conditions or ropes. That's why I said low, medium, high. I didn't say highest. Shri Krishna is taking us through a system of a conditional joy. Which is why I had shared with you last week when I was teaching the police chief. I started off my teaching with encouraging him to ask his employees, are you happy? Not how are you, but are you happy? So in a recent meeting, when he saw me, he said, are you happy? And I looked back at him and said, are you happiness? <laughs> See the difference? Are you happy is still based on a space, but are you happiness is not based on a space. It's based on your name. I don't think I'm going to get invited to these <laughs> meetings anymore. <laughs> and so sharing one more insight. So we're so clear about this is not the sukkah. When someone asks me what my nature is, what your nature is, I describe it as independent joy. Clear? Shunu, listen, me, to me, to what's coming from me, that is Sri Krishna, Bharatarshaba, you are the best. And that's why I'm teaching you. If you weren't the best, I wouldn't be teaching you right now because you wouldn't have made it to chapter 18. Think. Where are his brothers? Where's Yudhishthira and Bhimasena? Where's Nakula and Sahadeva? Why only Prince Arjuna? Because Sri Krishna knows he is the best and his potential is to even go beyond that. Do you feel this? I know you're so happy to hear words that describe Prince Arjuna, but do you feel this? Sri Krishna has used the word shrunu in verse 19, verse 29, now verse 36. He's sharing this with such love. Don't miss a word of what I'm sharing. In our Nada Bhakti Sutra course, our Ra's have been designed, the last four, around finality. Last week's Ra was for them to feel it's their finality, as in the student. And then that's it. They're dissolved. I don't want to use the word die. They're dissolved. This week's Ra was for them to visualize it is my finality. That in Tuesday's class, Vivek would have been dissolved. Finality helps us to be more engaged, correct? We try to hold more, hold inside more. Abhyasat Ramate Yatra. How does one feel this good space? Yatra, Ramate, they feel this within their being, but it's come through Abhyasa. Share with me in the chat. Actually, better, show me with your hands what Abhyasa means. Let's get into some interpretive dancing. What's Abhyasa mean? Yeah, everyone's going like this right now. Dance fest, right? <laughs> practice! Abhyasa does mean practice. Remember, practice makes perfect. In this chapter, Precision makes practice makes perfect. It is through practice. I was sharing with a seeker about bhakti. He grew up thinking bhakti is where you only go to the mandir and you only make flower garlands and you only sing classical Indian music. I shared with him what's lovely about bhakti is it's experiential. It is not theoretical. Often knowledge can be theoretical. People know a lot, but they don't change a lot. But Bhakti is experiential. They may not know a lot, but they change a lot. So I was telling him that Bhakti and Seva, that is service, are synonymous. Last quarter, 
Dukandam. The end of stress, anxiety, dejection. Negachati, one goes there, one feels this. Insarjana, I'm now sharing a system with you on how to go from most conditional joy to independent joy. You will only feel this if you live this. And if you live this, that moha bhaya shoka that you are enduring right now, you will transcend this. Until one is free, one has to practice, practice, practice. More theory may or may not help you. More application definitely will help. From inspiration to application, your application was to register for our writing from the mind community. Should I ask how many of you have registered for our writing from the mind community? Good. Those are more hands than I expected. Yesterday morning was a rush. We had to go to Toronto, etc. <clears throat> and as we were driving to Toronto, I saw someone walking with a fur collar, whether it's real or not, I have no idea. And so for me, fur equals fancy. That person is a fancy person walking. But then I saw her bend down. She was carrying a bag and she was picking up litter as she was going for her walk. I very much appreciated this fancy lady <laughs> that despite her fur collar that she was going for a walk and picking up garbage in random places in Niagara Falls. For all of us, before we run and jog, we are going to walk. Walk with a bag. Put gloves on and pick up litter. We can complete a thousand and eight hours of collecting litter in one day amongst all of us. Your application for this morning <clears throat> this is like a music orientation. There is a band called Iron and Wine. And the song is called Call It Dreamy. I want you to shrunu. <laughs> Listen carefully to Call It Dreamy. Shanti, 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 He, Ijo. <clears throat> 